at all. But yet, you want to put it in because it's searchable by Google. All right? When, and I'm going to show you about, I'm going to tell you about SEO too, by the way. I'm going to show you how to SEO a site on the fly as you go. All right? This right here is a header also. This is the image header. Mm -hmm. Some sites have them, some sites don't, depending on your site. But if you have it, you need to know how to control it. It would be in the system. And notice here, when we're in, uh, let me go back to, uh, to here. Notice right here, it said header. See right there? So that on this site, because it's from WordPress, you can control that header from that link called header underneath you know, that little list of options. If you're in the dashboard, you would be under appearances and see it's the same thing. See? It's a couple different places. I'm going to go over the dashboard later. <coughs> All right, we're going over this first. All right, so there's your image header. This is your menu bar. Now, there's two ways to do menus. I'm not going to show you the first one because I think it's stupid. The first way is you just throw pages in and just throw stuff in there. You can tell it what the order is on the page. Don't even use that because most modern uh, themes require you to mess with the menu system. So I'm not even going to go over the, the, the natural menuing system of WordPress. I'm going to show you how to do the real menu system. So you never have to worry about that other one. All right. This area is the body. This is where when you click on a page, it shows up in the body. Notice how the sidebar was missing on this one. If I go back to home, look, I got a sidebar. It's because you have to tell the system what's normal. Do you have a sidebar on all pages? Do you have, you know, you tell it. You can do that on themes per page in some instances. You can say, this page has sidebars, this page don't. You know, so that's why it changed. I'm going to show you how to set those. All right, so that's your body. This is a sidebar. Inside of a sidebar are your widgets. The little creature features that come with options and from the plugins. So if you had a plugin installed, this area would have like your upcoming events or whatever widgets that might be you know, available to you. And you can see those widgets by hovering over and clicking on widgets. So in widgets, in the newer system, new WordPress, you can actually go and it's waiting for it. You can go to the footer area. These are the areas of widgets, I mean of sidebars you can have. You got a main sidebar, a footer, and this one apparently has three sets of footers. So what they're saying is you can have a footer, 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 like three across from each other. You've seen sites like that, right? Yeah. You go to the website and it's got three little squares, four little squares, sometimes it's just two, maybe just one. This theme comes with three little squares. So we can therefore add stuff to those. If we wanted to put something in the first footer, we just add a widget. And it shows you the widgets that are available. Archives, calendar, and this is a calendar of your blog posts, not a calendar of like a calendar system. This is just calendar blogs. Categories of your blogs. Menu item, you can literally stick the menu inside the sidebar. Meta, meta. Now meta is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were on crap when they were <laughs> Meta is the login area. Why did they just call it login? Mm, right. Okay, so dumb. So what I do, the first thing I do is I install a plugin to get rid of that thing. <laughs> I, I install a plugin and call login. So it doesn't have this word meta. Because if you install it, you gotta go back in and go change the plugin to call it something else. It's the dumbest thing. And then they stick in their own little links like to back to WordPress. You know what I mean? So I don't do that, even though it's free, I'm sorry, but I don't want it. You can insert pages now. A list of your pages inside of a uh, of a, uh, uh, a sidebar. So you not only don't have to have just menus across the top, you can have menus that show up on the side. Okay? Recent post. A post is a blog post. So when you hear post, it's a blog. Okay, it's a part of the blog. Blogs go into a system, the Philo engine, first in, last out. Get that? So you post a blog. The next time you post a blog, it can push down. The new one comes up. You know, it just they, they go in like this. But not like a page. When you make a page, it doesn't go anywhere. It's always there. So anyway, this will show you your recent blog post. Recent because it's going to show you the, the last one you did. 
RSS, you know what RSS is? It's a way to stream in data from another location. It's called syndication, actually. There's also MRSS, which is media, which you can send even feed in video and pictures, stuff like that. Search, of course, you notice they already have a search bar, but just in case you wanted a search bar somewhere else, like they already got one built, built into the theme, but notice there's one right here. Because most likely they have widgets turned on with the search bar. So we were looking at that, instead of looking at it from this, if I go and say, just get out of this, get out of this part, and go back to the dashboard, and go to appearances, and go to widgets this way, I like this view better. This is another area of the widgets. The other one is sort of at what you see, what you get, but this is where you work with widgets, you don't really see what you're gonna have. That's the main, that's the, you know, the footer area, another footer area, another footer area. I mean, that's a show you, I don't know what that is for. That's a footer area. But notice how they have a search bar here. Look, search bar there. Notice they have a recent post. That's a recent post, hello world, came with the system. If I want to get rid of that, let's say I don't want a search bar, because I already got one search bar up in the title up here. See, it's sort of redundant, right? So we just take that and just drop it and throw it out of there. Watch this. When I go refresh this, it's not there no more. There's no saving. It's saved right when I threw it out. Okay? Now, let me not confuse you, though. They'll probably already confuse you. See, hold your mouth. No, no. Okay, we good? Well, I'm just wondering if you, I used to throw things away by mistake, so if I need to go back to that. It's sitting right there. It's sitting right so they're right here. All your available widgets are right here. And it says, see, available widgets. Okay. Now, let's say you so make a search bar. You can take it and drag oh, it back up yeah, there. Yeah, so if I want it back, I can just go get it and just go yeah. put it back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can even change the title of the search. I can say search for dang thing. <laughs> okay. But let me tell you something else about this. Let's say you make a widget of your own. You don't, you want to, you don't want it on the system. You want to save it for later. Because you might want to use it later. How do you get rid of that? Well, if you scroll down, you put it in inactive widgets. So you just pick it up and drag it down to inactive areas. Now it's saved, the way you got it, it's just not active on the screen. Because sometimes you want to like put a, like a video and a widget on the side. You see websites you go and they got a little video running. Well, maybe it's not pertinent this month. But you don't want to recode it. You don't want to go to go to, I mean, go to uh, YouTube, go get the embed code, throw it in there, and remember all of that. So what you do is you take it, put it in the inactive area, and use it later. Okay? All right. Have I boring you yet? No, mm -hmm. it's good stuff. No, 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 it's good stuff. Remember, I teach. I need my laptop. I'm just sitting up there working on my blog right now. Okay. I know, right? All right. Now, that is the widget area. I mean, that's a sidebar. Notice we don't have anything in the bottom right here, right? Because if you look at the widgets, we don't have anything in there. We can throw in stuff. Look, uh, let me not do showcase. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> First footer. Next footer, if you don't change the name, it'll keep whatever it was called. Meta, young meta. <laughs> All right, now we go look, watch. I'm, I'm working down here, I just threw them in those footer. Watch when I refresh this. Boom, we got three things down there. Meta, look, that ugly old meta. Right? How would you change it? If I didn't want to change it, I'd have to go and go, first off, retitle it to maybe log in or something. But notice, I can't modify what's in the meta. Watch this. Refresh. Login's there, but still got this dumb stuff in here. Look. Okay, WordPress. Now, so that means I got to go in and find where I've already put it. And I don't know. See, notice that they don't even have a way to get rid of. Normally they had an editor where you can go and edit it. You can't even edit it. So what I would do... There is an editor at the bottom of the theme. Yeah, options. but you know what that editor is? No. An editor in this area will actually edit the actual source code of the theme. So you don't want to mess with that. <clears throat> and if you're in plugins, you can also do an editor. You can edit the actual plugins. So you don't want to do that unless you know what you're doing. So okay? go to editors. So 
You no, never go to editors. No, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no editors. Unless you know what you're doing. Right. Now, if you want to get rid of that stupid meta thing, you go into plugins and you want to add a new plugin because I don't want to go add a feature right now. I don't want that plugin. So I'm going to do, I'm a, I want a log in, log out kind of plugin. So I'm going to search for it. Watch this. Boom, there we go. I can do a more and look at what it looks like. See what it does? I have some screenshots. That's what I like, you know, it's going to look like that. See, so notice I have like garbage on it. So I'm go ahead and install that one. I install that plugin, activate that plugin. Now I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to go back to my widgets. Where are the widgets are? I'm going to throw away this stupid meta thing. And there should be another one over here. Throw that away. And I'm going to find the thing that says log in, log out. There it is. Right? I'm going to put that in here now. Give it a title. Log in. I could could have left it able to use the same, you know, same deal. Now I'm going to say show login users, show registration, all that stuff. Oh, you didn't click one of them. Welcome text user. No, no, no. Show no. show registration. Oh, we have to better do that. Alright. Save it. Because I made a change, you gotta save it now. You close the little window. But when I go back now and refresh it, see now look. I got my little login thing and don't have no links to WordPress and all that. It's, 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 it's pewter looking. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. But nobody's going to see that on, on, oh, yeah. on the administrator, right? No, no, that's going to be shown because you have users that are not going to log in. But you can, when you go to a website that has that, they're going to see the thing that says log in and become a member and all that stuff. But it's going to show, this is WordPress, how to do that. You, you're going to put links back to WordPress. It's just, that's like having a Wix site. It always shows Wix, made with Wix. Do you want a Wix? That's Don't talk about the site. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, since when you're as new as I am, and you've used some terms that did register. Is there a place inside of you that you go look up what that is? Like you refer to an invoke, embed code on YouTube, which I've never done. You refer to a register, they might give you which a register link. So if I don't know what register link is. WordPress Well, and actually, and that's not even a WordPress thing. That's that's sort of internet yeah. for dummies. But it's not for dummies. It's for I'm people that don't know. <laughs> but I can tell you, I mean, that's what I do. So when you come to my my webinars, people ask me all these questions, and I'll tell you. So that's when you go. You go see, you give me a call. Right. Uh oh. Is it okay? I'm all right. Yeah, we're all right. Okay. All right. So we got that. Now we know what footers are and all that stuff. And notice that when I got rid of the uh, one of those uh, footers, mm -hmm. the site equalized the ones at the bottom. So now instead of three, it has two, and it made them the size of the two. You get it? Mm -hmm. It shared that space. So if I get rid of another, and only leave one, like throw that one away, it doesn't matter where it is. If I refresh it, watch, now it became okay. the whole. You see? All right. Now, are we done with that? Do we know what we're doing inside? So let's go to the dashboard. From the front side of the website, we can go to the dashboard, and I'll walk you through the dashboard right quick. That's the welcome dashboard of WordPress. The first thing you want to do is dismiss the whole thing about, you know, we love WordPress. Okay, we don't care about that. This right area right here is your snapshot of what's going on on your website. It'll have all kind of things in it. Depending on what you install plugin-wise, it's going to show you all kind of things. In some of my websites, I have my statistical analysis and all kinds of stuff. So I show my graphs of how many people have come there and all kinds of stuff. If you have a shopping cart, it'll show you how many things you've sold. I mean, it'll show all that stuff, okay? You can control that by this little screen option. You just roll it down, zoop, and you can turn things on and off. Turn that welcome back one I just got rid of. Turn off the, well, the WordPress news one. Turn off the quick draft. Nobody uses that anyway. Okay, quick job is how to make little little symbol blogs, but you can't control anything. You can't put images in it, you can't do anything. So I don't use it. Now, once you get this, roll it back up, 
and then you can pick these up and move them however you want. You know, just, you know, if you, if you like them a certain way, okay? And it'll remember. So when you drag and drop, it's saving. It's literally saving the system. All right, so that's just the welcome area. Notice that I showed you that that little thing says there's updates. See, one plugin update. See, it's showing you there too. That's the same as this. Because they showed you on the front end, let me go to the front end. You don't have the access. See, it shows you the same thing. See right there? So if you're in a dashboard, it just shows you another verbose mode of it. See, it says there's one update and one plugin. Now, I'm going to go out of order of this because some things you need to do in, in, in a certain way. When you first have a WordPress site, you got to make a determination whether it is a blog with pages or it's a website, a static page that's happened to have a blog. Nine second. All right. Correct. And here's what they do. It's determined by the way people come into your site. So you're controlling when people go to your .com, .org, .whatever, where does the website go? You have to determine that. If you're going to make a, a website with a blog, then of course you need to have a home page and a blog page because you're not just blog going to the blog. So the first thing we have to do before we even do this is to go under pages and look at our pages. We only got one page. So we can't make it a website with a blog because we need to add a page to handle our blogs. So the first thing we want to do is take that sample page and edit it and make it say home. You know, make it make, make sense. We'll dismiss this. Make sense. All right, it's home. Get out of the way. And let's update. I'm not going to tell you about that yet. Yeah. So we just update it. That's all you need to know. Then let's add another page. Just by clicking Add New Page. All right? Under Pages, Add New. Right? Or Add New Page. You three different places you can go. We're going to call this Blogs. And don't worry about the page attribute.